So one of the things that a lot of us has found when we analyze real world data uh, about the treatment uh, of HER2, uh, HER2 negative, form receptor positive metastatic breast cancer in the first line and other lines, but mostly first line, is that it, it appears even though these drugs have a clear progression-free survival benefit and likely an overall survival benefit in some trials, uh, that still there's roughly about probably 20, 25% of patients that do not re that receive single agent hormonal therapy, that do not, at least in the United States where these drugs are widely available. And so what we did is we tried to figure out why that was happening at the level of the provider. And so this is a web-based um, quiz or web-based you know, uh, survey uh, that we gave to practicing oncologists in the United States. And we asked them a number of questions about whether, you know, how, where were they trained for fellowship, how many years out were they from fellowship, uh, how often they read the literature, where they got their sources of information from. And then we asked them about their patients and asked specific questions about specific patient types. Uh, and what it turned out to be uh, is that oncologists in general, it didn't really matter their training as much or their age. Uh, what really mattered was the patient characteristics at the end of the day, and they're what you'd expect. Uh, patients that were older um, tended not to be treated, uh, tended to be treated with single agent therapy. Patients who potentially had comorbidities tended to be treated uh, with single agent therapy. And we kind of see that, I think, in the Medicare uh, population, uh, there is a bit less treatment with CDK4-6 inhibitors uh, than there is in the non-Medicare population, and so this is not surprising. So it's really interesting, I mean, that'll help us kind of figure out uh, where there needs to be efforts um, uh, to try to uh, address some of the concerns uh, from uh, medical oncologists, and whether it's even necessary, I think, to uh, treat women uh, who are older and maybe have more comor comorbidities uh, with CDK4-6 inhibitors. I personally think that they do have activity and benefit in this population, uh, but on the other hand, there may be patients who may not need it. And I think that, you know, what the survey may show us is, you know, the oncologist's general wisdom about this, uh, that there, no matter, you know, how efficacious these drugs may be in clinical trials, that there likely will be a substantial proportion of women who just receive anti-hormonal therapy alone.